What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Bowls. Yes, indeed. How about that? Bowls making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Shane Saunders, and Shane want to see me react to this. It is Foles with a tune called Two Steps Twice. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, Hang on, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by MXRQUI. Uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> and the video has 197,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Bowls, Two Steps Twice, Live Reading Festival 2016. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Say thy prayers. This song's called Two Steps Twice. <laughs> interesting you got the guitars you got the bass all doing this four riff but the drummer is playing straight ahead six eight one two three four five six one two three four five six against the one two three four one two three four it's interesting it's interesting it, it feels good i mean it doesn't feel awkward but it doesn't it's just not it's not lining up perfectly but i mean it does it doesn't sound bad I mean, it's all moving forward. It's not, it doesn't feel like anything's being left behind. So that's good. Um, interesting take. Let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. So, 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 so,
section that we just heard was just to facilitate the lead vocalist going out into the crowd and interacting with the crowd. Okay, I mean, it, it's fine. I'm all, listen, I'm all in favor of crowd interaction. Um, I just wish there was more happening on the stage. Uh, it's just guitar and, and bass and drums uh, <laughs> playing that single note, that, that rhythmic pattern on, on that single note. Matching up with the drums, so everything everybody's playing in four now, which is nice. It, it's it's very conducive. Um, I think the keyboard player over here is fit the pair of sticks and is helping out with the uh, floor toms and cymbals. Okay, just having some fun with that. Look, at least he found something to do. He's not just standing there behind his keyboard doing nothing but twiddling his thumbs. That's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> Now it's kicking up. Now it's kicking up. It's just a shame that's taken us over six minutes to get to that point. You know, it's like, okay, look, I, I, I'm all in favor. Uh, okay, here's how I can sum this all up very, very quickly. Um, I like the concept. I like the idea. I think the execution, however, was very lackluster. I, I feel like it was very elongated. It could have been cut in half, in all honesty. And there could have been more happening within the music, within the chordal progression. It could have moved around a little bit. Instead of staying on the route, how about maybe dropping down to the three, and then up to the four, and then up to the five, you know, and then back to the root. And then maybe a downward progression, you know, you know, from the root down to the six, up to the seven, down to the five, and then back to the root. It would have been nice, rather than just staying on the same note for almost five minutes, you know what I mean? I like the idea. I like the concept. And I, I like, and I can absolutely appreciate the intent, but the execution, very lackluster. Very lackluster. I don't know how I stayed awake, if I'm being honest with you. I, I, I felt myself starting to nod off. And I was like, no, no, stay awake. Stay awake. Don't, <laughs> don't fall asleep on camera. 
but that it was it was getting boring you know 641 yeah actually honestly that doesn't feel accurate it feels like we've been at eight minutes already this, this feels like we've been at eight eight and a half somewhere in there it's been a snooze fest uh when it comes to the music part it, it's just uh like i said i understand the intent going out into the crowd interacting with the crowd i get it i appreciate that but the execution overall from the musical standpoint oh man left a lot to be desired now we're actually going somewhere was a couple of good things uh out of there so i don't think we're going to be down the bad scores i don't think we're going to be down the threes and fours and twos and ones but uh <laughs> we're definitely not going to be up in the nines or eights and i'll be honest with you folks i don't even think sevens i i doubt it um i'm thinking sixes just off the top of my head let me get my thoughts together uh maybe that score will change if i give it some more thought so let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Foles with Two Steps Twice. This was a request from Shane Saunders. Yeah, I thought about it, and unfortunately, uh, nah, the score did not change. I, 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 was, I was right about the sixes. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 6.4. Yep. 6.4, I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first of all, 6.4 is not a bad score, okay? We're, we're above five. It's when you get under five. It's when you get down into the fours and the threes and the twos and the ones. That's when you're into the bad scores. That's when you're into the, into the negative scores. It, this is a pretty good score, okay? A 6.4, anything in the six. Six point anything, it doesn't matter what it is. It's a pretty good score. This is right about in the middle. Um, there were a few things, just a couple things that saved this from going down into the bad scores. Number one, the intro. The very first like minute to minute and a half. Having the drummer playing that six 
against guitar, bass, and keyboard, all playing in straight ahead four. That was interesting. I, I, I could definitely appreciate that. And then everybody came together into the six, and then everybody switched gears and went to the four when they switched up gears to go into the crowd interaction part. That was interesting. That was fun to listen to. That was fun to watch. I had no problem with that. Like I said, about the first minute, minute and a half, I was actually having a pretty good time. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't hating on it. Now, the crowd interaction. Look, I am always, always in favor of crowd interaction. I got no problem with it. I love the intent. I love the direction. I love the fact that they took those chances and they had the lead vocalist leave the stage and go out into the crowd and mingle with the crowd. Obviously, security barriers, you know, there between them, but still going out and getting a chance to interact with some of the fans. I applaud that. I wish more bands would do that. Uh, I think that was very, very cool of them. Having said that, the execution of the of the rip, the, the just, you know, the vamp that was going on, Boy, did that get monotonous fast. It got real old real quick because there was no chordal progression. There was no change. We literally stayed on that same note the whole time. The bass player every once in a while towards the end of each phrase would, you know, go up to the third for a note. Boom, boom, you know, and then go back down or he would go down to the five to the seven to back up to the root again and stay on the root for the next three and a half measures. And it's like, but the guitar player never deviated. The guitar player was playing that one note the entire time. It got very mundane, very old, very, very quickly. Uh, I really wish there had been more of a progression. I really wish there had been some movement within that from a chordal progression standpoint. It just got very boring. I looked at the, I looked at the time, six, I think we were at 6.41, if I'm not mistaken. It, didn't feel like 641. It felt like eight minutes. I mean, it, the time was just dragging because there was nothing happening within the music. There was nothing moving within the chordal progression. We were literally, we were vamping on a single note for over four minutes, almost five. It's like, I mean, really? Do we do we need to do that? I mean, we, we can't move around. We, we can't Go to, go to the one, to the two, to the three, to the five, or one, to the three, to the four, to the five, or heck, go start at the top, go to the one, start start at the root, go down to the six, to the seven, to the five, or even better, one to the six, to the seven, to the one, you know, that, that would have worked too, you know, I would have had no problem with that, or how about one to the six, to the five, to the three, to the one, we, we, we could have moved around, but instead of moving around, we stay on that one note. I like the intent, I like the direction, I like the purpose, but I cannot stand the execution. I'm sorry, it was it was boring as hell. I almost nodded off a couple times during that whole section. Now, the good news is, at about the 6.30, 6.40 mark, I started to feel the growth. I started to feel you know intensity coming up. And then we got that really heavy section. And that was nice, that double time feel, you know, rock and feeling. That was good. Finally, a change up. Finally, a change in direction. Finally, a change in feel. Finally, a change in the entire song. It came up and I was so thrilled. And then I was so disappointed when we left that and went right back to where we were again. Oh, good Lord. Luckily, when we did come back down to where we were, we didn't stay there for very long. The song was pretty much over at that point. Oh, thank goodness for small miracles. Um, yeah, I just yeah, was not a fan of this. Like I said, I appreciate the idea. I appreciate the intent. The idea of going into the crowd and giving the lead vocals a chance to interact with the crowd members. I appreciate that. I absolutely do. But could we please change up the song just a little bit? So, yeah, it, it was... It was all right. I mean, like I said, the time definitely dragged. It dragged on and on and on, but I, I gotta I gotta applaud the intent. I gotta applaud the effort put into interacting with the crowd. So yeah, I'm gonna give it that 6.4. I'm not gonna take it down into the bad scores, but personally I would like to, but you know, looking at the song objectively, 
it was at least it was clean at least it was tight at least it was well executed so yeah well i'll give it the 6.4 so yeah 6.4 final score i have spoke well that's gonna do it for this edition of reactions reviews and rants hope you all enjoyed the show hope that i was able to entertain you if i was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day then did my job and i'm so glad i could do it if you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.